Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And this is not a review. This is my entire Monroeville Exchange toy haul, plus a couple figures we got at Big Lots right next door at near Monroeville Exchange, since they're both in the same location. And we got some figures I picked up quite a while ago as well. But look at all these figures. We got Ghostbuster, Ghostbuster figure. We got a G.I. Joe classifies Aikido. We got Sonic. We got Gears. We got He-Man. We got Batman figures. We got Marvel. A lot of figures. I'm going to show you each figure I got one by one. First on the list, we got my first ever Robin action figure. So we got Robin from the Batman. Yes, I'm happy about this. I finally got Robin to go up my Batcave. Yay! Of course, we got another Batman. A Superman of different style because... He's Superman. I love some Superman figures. We got Two-Face. Oh, I love Two-Face from Batman. And this is more cartoon accurate. I just love it. He looks pretty cool. We got a Power Rangers Mystic Force Red Ranger. And I loved Power Rangers Mystic Force when it came out. This is something I paid five bucks for at the exchange. It's one of those gargoyles from that sh show, Gargoyles. And I'm so glad to have one in my collection. He is missing his wings, but otherwise, he's not broken or anything like that. That's a vintage find, if I do say so myself. I never watched that cartoon. If any of you have, I'm sure you'll tell me in the comments. Next, we got some Star Wars. We got Jyn Erso, bigger figure of her. We got these pod racing figures from Star Wars. I am unfamiliar with these two guys, but they were racers on Tatooine. That's what I know about them. We got a Gears of War, Santiago. That's pretty cool. Okay, next we got some He-Man figures. Got these little figures of man-at-arms, many faces. And He-Man, the masters of the universe. Look at all the used figures we got here. We got a Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Constructicon. Yeah, he is a Constructicon. I don't know his name, but... He is part of the Devastator. That's why I picked him up. Because I'm apparently collecting these things. Mm -hmm. And this is bot number two that I own from Revenge of the Fallen. We got a complete Wasp from Ant-Man and the Wasp. I'm so happy to own this figure. I do not have her in my Marvel collection. I'm definitely looking forward to reviewing her. Next, we got a 3D printed statue of Iron Man. This was something my sister's boyfriend gave to me. And I painted it myself. And it looks pretty good for an Iron Man. I'll definitely review that with Wasps. We got some loose figures, some more of them. We got... Dinobot Slash. I did pick up a couple more loose figures off of eBay. Sailor Moon. I picked her up. Why not? Those figures you're not going to see on this haul. We got Cyberverse Dead End and Transformers Legacy Core Class Shockwave. So I got another Legacy. Transformers Buzzworthy Autobot Cup. Excited to add that to my 86 collection. Definitely. 
I found this and someone threw it out in my garbage at, at garbage at work and I picked it up for free. It's Hula Stitch. Why not? It's a freebie. Dare I say, why not? Now on to the new figures. Here we got the Jack Specific figures. You remember when I picked these up in my mini toy haul? I stashed these away and went back and picked them up. This figure is 20 bucks on Amazon, 15 bucks. This is probably going for 20 bucks. All these, 15 bucks. Not bad for what I picked them up for. Next on the list, we got Transformers, the Last Night Legend Hot Rod. $10, exclusive at Walmart, so this is an exclusive. I love some exclusive toys. Yeah. Next on the list, we got a G.I. Joe Classified, number 18, Akito herself. Look forward to reviewing her and adding her to my G.I. Joe shelf. Next, we got a Ghostbusters action figure from Answer the Call, Eliza Gates. So she'll be reviewed and definitely go on my shelf. There are two more figures I don't have. I don't have her and I don't have her. But when I do, I'll have the whole set on the shelf, which is pretty cool. We did find some TMNT action. I don't get a lot of TMNT, but we picked these brand new figures up. Five bucks for both of these figures. So we got Raphael and Donatello. I will definitely unbox one of these a month because these are just too cool not to review. Next on the list, we got Transformers Rescue Bots Blades. And this is a figure that is old but brand new to me because I have it now. And he'll be definitely be on my shelf with my other Rescue Bots. So I will unbox this at a later date and open it. Why not? Next on the list, we paid 10 bucks for this thing, almost 10 bucks. For the He-Man, Masters of the Universe, Trap Jaw with Motorcycle. And yes, I am collecting more He-Man. So if you're watching Retro's Burt, I got some He-Man stuff. I'm adding He-Man stuff to my own personal collection of He-Man. So yeah, I love some He-Man figures. Last but not least, we have one more figure before we end this video. And it's Huggy Wuggy from Puppy's Playtime. Yeah, I picked him up. I love this figure so much, I had to pick him up. And he's cool looking. Why not? I don't have all the other figures like Scary Huggy Wuggy and the pink girl. I don't know her name. But I do have that. It might be a video game. If you know, please leave me a comment. And that has been my entire toy haul for this month. If you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please make sure to like. Please make sure to comment. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Oh, and I appreciate your support here on my channel. You guys are awesome. And I look forward to to reviewing more action figures that I get over the years. So this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.